I'm here today at the Asian Civilization Museum here in Singapore, where from 17 June to 2nd October, more than 100 unique batik pieces from around Southeast Asia are being put on display. Although Singapore were not a batik making place, we're definitely a very strong kind of batik wearing culture. What we see as t-shirt and jeans today, 100 years ago, that's what people used to wear. And that also tells us a lot about the wearers. Batik Kita, dressing in port cities, explores the rich history and culture of batik and batik making, and also how the craft has charted the evolution of new identities in the newly formed nations of Indonesia, Malaysia and Singapore. Port cities in Southeast Asia like Singapore, Penang, Malacca, uh, Banjarmasin, you name it. Once the Southeast Asian nations gained their independence, the dressing became an issue. How do you dress to tell the world who you are? It is a fashion, but it has transcended from fashion to identity statement, a political statement. This is where we can explore further. It's from our region. It is about ourselves. We can wear it to express ourselves. It's very relaxing. It's cotton, so it's very cooling for our, our very punishing hot weather. I love every piece there is. But if I have to really choose, it has to be that huge dot dot, the ceremonial piece, which came to us in the 1920s. And it's a court piece. It's beautiful. It's covered with gold leaf and it has impeccable batik work, which is very hard to find these days. I think the exhibition is great. There are so many pieces. They all look very, very different from each other. There's so many types of designs that I've never seen before. I learned that some pieces are worn as uh, status symbols. Some designs can only be worn by royalty. And I think that's really interesting. There's so many people making batik these days. They borrow ideas from different places. They don't stick to one style anymore. And I think the younger generation in Indonesia, as well as in Singapore uh, and Southeast Asia, are getting used to uh, wearing batik. So there are many, many possibilities for a fashion designer. So it's definitely not dead. It's vibrant, it's alive and kicking. We all know batik is usually associated with like formal attire, more likely about like traditional thing rather than a modernized one. I never worked with batik before, so like this is really my first time. My lecturer invited me, like asking me if I want to join this project. Our main objective of this collection is to modernize the usage of batik. First of all, I see how the younger generation in this era express themselves through fashion what is their go-to pieces and then from there I execute the batik into it. One of the designs that I made, it's a vest, like an outer vest. Normally people use a knit based material but I'm just trying to put batik into it. We just want to have fun with it. These clothes and clothing tell stories of wearing, making and trading batik across the region cutting across cultures and ethnic backgrounds to explore the dynamic possibilities of batik. This is Jessica Novia for See Today, Singapore.